Hello. What did I just hear? A skeever. It's fine. However, I also hear a dragon. Another one. Another one. It's off to our left. Right, I mean. Oh, yes, I hear it too. I'm not sure I'm in the mood for killing dragons today. Given what happened yesterday, <laughs> I'm still not quite... I haven't quite... That sounds quite close, actually. He seems to be guarding something. There's a wall up on top of a hill. Alright. I suppose if he attacks us, then we will fight back, but before that, it's... What? Oh, just a skeever. Okay. I'm going to keep following the gobbles while well, he does that. If the dragon attacks, then the dragon attacks and we will deal with it then. The wolves. Myth, where have you gone? Catching up. Sorry about that. Right. Uh, where are we going? What am I looking for? I believe you're looking for a kin. A what? A pile of stones on the side of the road. A kin. Right. No dragons. No more dragons. No, that one back there didn't seem interested in us. That's probably for the best, because I still need something long and pointy with which to point them with. Stab them with. Something like that. Stick them with. Right. Oh. Foliage. Sorry, I forget that there's... this is, uh... We've only been through here once before. True, and I was relying on your direction, Rock, much more. The first time. There's a can directly in front of you. Oh. Oh. So, the path is here? Seems to be... I can feel the sun coming through the leaves. Needles. Needles? Well, yes, they're pine trees. Oh. Oh, needles. I'm... <laughs> I'm used to not pine trees back home. Well, that makes two of us, sort of. Right, you aren't used to mushrooms and whatnot. We have regular trees in Morrowind too. It's not just mushrooms. <laughs> right. I think we found the cave. Uh huh. And water. Great. Oh. What? There's a body hanging from a beam. Oh. Delightful. Oh, that's deep water. I don't like that. There's a skeleton down here too. Ah! Right. 
Oh, oh, this is... Slippery underfoot. And on a wall. Careful. What? What's that smell? I'm not sure, but it might be flammable. I've heard of this sort of thing in mines before. Oh. Gas pockets. I've read about such things. I don't like this one bit. You said there was people. I did. They've gone... upstream from us. Mostly. Now ain't this a surprise? Oh, hello! Die already so I can take your stuff! How about no? There's a coin purse there if you'd like to take that. Uh... Huh? Oh? Hello? Over here. Where's the archer? There he is. I'm sorry, what were you saying? Uh, right. Did you take care of the other one? I did. Keep going up this tunnel, but we're going to circle back around again. Oh? I saw somebody up there. Or something. Okay. Oh. I heard someone. Right. This is precarious. And full of roots. Ugh. Just keep following the water, I suppose. That should be easy enough. Hello. Never should have come here. You're quite good at that. Are you sure you need something bigger? Than a mace? You know, I'm not actually sure. Well... I am sure. I need... something... There's a wall. It's a chest. Here, let me do that for you. Can you? Well, I would, but I'm out of lockpicks, it seems. Great, okay. Uh... Well, now what? There's a passage up there, but I don't think we can reach it. Up where? Ah, I see. Um. Oh. There's a barrel here. Oh, yet. No, I'm not tall enough for that, probably. Which is unfortunate because I'm. The tall one. Oh, that's... Tall. Short. The ceiling is short. Right, where are we going now? I'll tell you when to turn left. But now just follow the water downstream again. Okay. Right. All the voices. Left here. Okay. Right, there was a coin purse. Oh. What was that? Oh, hello. Oh. Damn hell. You'll pay for this. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that's bad. Myth? This could be Mercy! close. Well. <laughs> the 
this was going to be close, you say? Ah, uh, well, I was sort of... Evidently... Metal armor conducts electricity. To be fair to you... What's this piece of paper? I'm not sure. Let me see it. It appears to be a map. I have no idea where that is, though. Okay. I guess I'll keep my eye out if we find anything shaped like a... A statue of a woman, perhaps. What is this? A book, which I'm taking. Um... This all seems like... Is that a bug? That is, in fact, a dragonfly. Lovely. Chest. An amulet? Some sort? Potion? Take that, we might be able to sell it. Okay, do you need arrows? Uh, not for the moment. There's a loot in here. Ah. Well, grab it, we might be able to use it. This is enchanted. I think I'm going to take this. These are enchanted as well. This... is a pokey stick. Show me. You see? One very pokey stick. Well... I think it suits you. It's Velothi. It's Velothi? It's a Velothi war scythe. Ah. That might come in handy whilst dealing with dragons then, I think. I believe you're correct. So, let's get out of here. Let's go to Riften. Right, because we need to turn in the ore sample for someone. This works quite well as a as a stick. Um. Walking stick. Good to know. Ah, it works quite well. It's a little bit more responsive. <laughs> Ugh. You alright? I have a sneeze. Right, I have no idea what that was. Sneeze. Oh, uh, I appear to be stuck. Hang on. There we are. It falls! Right, I need to get that under control. just walked outside and suddenly it's cold and I sneezed. That was some sneeze. Oh dear. Where are we going? Um... Well, we could go back down the hill. However, the path continues sort of in front of you. Alright. Hello. Please don't attack. I guess we're going downhill. They're not chasing us, are they? Nope. 
Right, you don't know how to use a war scythe, do you? I have very little idea, no. I suppose you could just wing it. Right. Oh, hello. It's the traveling merchant with a pack gua. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, excuse me, sir. Hmm? Oh, there's a wolf behind you. I hope he's not going to attack your gua. But we have, we're traveling sort of merchants. See for yourself. Let's see. Well, let me just say this about that. What? You're not missing much. This is the thickest fog I've ever been in. Great. That explains why it feels humid. Hopefully you're not getting lost. Hopefully I'm not. There's a bit of a drop here, be careful. There's the path. <laughs> you did get lost, didn't you? Nope. Well, not permanently. Right. And we still have no idea what that sound was. No, not really. What are you thinking? Oh, I'm just... scouring my brain for clues. Unfortunately, I haven't read much about Skyrim. So I can't even begin to tell you what I think. Unless it's just some... I don't know. Nordic... ritual of some sort. I suppose if I find any books on the matter, I'll... Wait a minute. I don't have any books on the matter. That's about the standing stones. Nope, unfortunately I'm no help here. Oh, well... It's the thought that counts, I think. We're almost there. Oh, good. Oh, I hear crows. Not surprising. Large population centers with lots of fish. And here we are. Right. Now, Elgrim's elixirs are down a level, right? I believe so, but you have better memory for visual things than I do at this point. Fair enough. Here we are. Follow me. Oh. Working on it. Be careful with that scythe, by the way. Right, I forgot that my walking stick is no longer unpointy. Ugh. What? You really don't want to know. I... I guess I really don't. Kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. I'm actually here to talk to you. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? I have, and I brought the ore sample back. Thank you. 
I'll be sure to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here, I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Oh, thank you. Does it bother you living down here, by the way? I saw what they have outside, and, uh... When Elgrim said we were setting up shop down here, I told him he would catch his death. The dirt, the moisture, is disgusting. Who wants to spend their life living like a skeever? But that old bellyache just fed me some nonsense about light ruining his mixtures and being close to the water. Ugh. Well, good luck, you two. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. I won't. All right, well, that's that taken care of. Excellent. Right, now what? I know we need to ask around, see if we could find any. Let's try the tavern. Find any what? Any ideas about that sound? That is a very good point. Oh, sir. I also wonder... Hmm. No. What? I just don't want to get in the way of that snake oil salesman again. If you've got the coin, you've come to the right place. You want a drink? A oh, hello. Not right at the moment, but thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. I'm sure. It's quite homey in here. Why, hello, Kirava. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Did you hear anything strange lately? Have you seen that shrine of Azura? They say the Dark Elves built it after they fled from Morrowin. Sight to see. Right. Is that all? Ah. Uh, anything else? Anything that doesn't have anything to do with shrines or Azura? The Thieves' Guild has been pushing hard to regain a foothold in this city. Rumor has it they're falling apart from the inside. Right. And what else? Riften's biggest exports used to be fishing and honey until the Blackbriar family moved in. Now the meadery is the biggest game in town. I don't think she heard it. I'm starting to get that impression. Right, what do you have for sale? Let's sate that appetite, hmm? Well, this is local. We might as well. Come back and see us again. A drink? Oh, no thank you. I'd like to keep my mind a little bit clear. Fair enough. Great. Welcome to the Bee and Barb, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. No, but thank you. Who else would know, I wonder? Not him. I doubt Balaman would either. A chance. Well, I suppose we could go look at the meadery while we're here. Alright. Any reason why? It's the biggest game in town. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Oh, just looking around. I'm quite busy. Need something, or can I get back to work? You can get back to work. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. 
Pleasant fellow, isn't he? Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar Mead, the purest brew in all of Skyrim. Right. What well, can you tell me about Maven Blackbriar? She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. I... I have never met a man working behind a counter with that... broad of a smile. Now that your boss is gone... Okay, look. If I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice, and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. I see. Well, good to know. Thank you. Come back and see us again. That is interesting. And now I sort of see why you wanted to stop by here. It's always good to know what your competition is. Question? Answer, potentially. In what way is a forestry guild competing with the Blackbriars? Uh, we're not directly. Okay. I still wanted to know. Right. Rare trinkets and the finest oddities from Morrowind. Hmm. So, what next? Honestly, I'm not sure. I believe that's Ingen. Working at the Riften Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Let's just get out of here. Okay. I like the way you think. But where to? That's the question. That is the question. You know where we haven't been. Uh, no? We've not been to Iverstead. Where is that? Roughly that direction. Which I know you can't see me pointing, but it's... West, northwest of here. It belongs to the Rift. And if anybody needs help there... It will be... It will be a good way to bolster our reputation with the locals. Sort of. And do so out of the, uh, direct influence of the Thieves Guild. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Lead on. There he goes again with the Fulm of Blood Elixir. Something interesting that my guide told me, actually. Oh? You don't mix potions with Thalma Blood. Apparently, you mix it with their earwax. Ew! Basically, yes. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. What? Evidently, the town extends out here. I did not know this was here. Very nice. A quaint little district. Right. So, to Iverstead then. Indeed. 
I take it you must have other reasons for going there? What makes you say that? You have ulterior motives for everything, it seems like. Potentially guilty as charged. Something chasing a deer. Not sure I want to know what. So, you're not going to tell me? Oh. Tell you my secret ulterior motives? Yes. Well, in this case, uh, the answer is you. Explain? Well, that sound sounded like it came from a mountain. Iverstead sits at the base of that mountain. So if anybody knows what that was, I suspect they'll be there. Okay. Your theories are interesting. Please lead on. So, Syria, here's a question. Yes? Which Ultima God has an eagle? Or a hawk, or whatever this is. Um, I... most of them, honestly. I think this might be a shrine of Xerxes. Oh. I wish I could see it. I wish you could too, but keep following me. I know it's getting dark out, but just bear with me. Alright. You have very light footsteps, just so you know. Sorry, makes it a bit difficult to follow, doesn't it? Unless you're talking, yes. Well, I will do my best to keep talking in that case. Although I'm not entirely sure what to talk about. Ah, uh, I don't know. Your work with the Forestry Guild? Foresters. There is technically a difference. Oh, well. What's the difference? Well. Forestry is generally about the maintenance of forests. Foresters chop stuff down. Right? That... That doesn't seem like that much of a difference, all told. Well, it's a... It's a subtle difference. Is someone there? Whoa, hello. Out! Cleared out, I guess. You're right. Oh, I'm fine. Those uh those fangs are rather massive, but plate armor. Indeed. Why do I feel like we've taken a wrong turn? That's not something particularly comforting to hear you say out loud. I have stood that way. We've not yet taken a wrong turn. That's more like it. <laughs> Where have you gone? Oh, sorry. I'm still here. I'm admiring the lunar moths and torch bugs. And an abundance of beehives, it seems. Oh, good to know, I think. Ah, we've reached Iverstead, I think. Good. It seems as though it's very dark out. It is very dark out. And there are... Elk in the way. 
Delightful. Well, this is... Hello. What? They have a tree from Morrowind in here. The pink tree. The Villamir Inn. Wow, I can see the lights from that. What else is there? What are you... remarking about? There's some sort of... temple or something. I would very much like to see what it is. You strike me as the last person who would be interested in temples. No offense. I'm interested. Mostly for your sake. Why for my sake? Well, you're the, uh... I don't know. I think the... Oh! I'm sorry. There are trees growing in here. It also appears to be a temple of Kinnereth. Hello, sorry for intruding like that. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason to pass through here. Right, we'll want to ask around about that. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. She agrees. So, that wasn't exactly fruitful, was it? Not particularly, but... Now we get to figure out what High Hrothgar is. Oh, hello. On your way up the 7,000 steps again, Klimek? Not today. I'm just not ready to make the climb to High Hrothgar. The path isn't safe. Aren't the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, I'm not certain. I've yet to be allowed into the monastery. Perhaps one day. Well, now we know who to ask, I suppose. Yes, indeed. Uh, right. Excuse me. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. In the morning, I hope. I know you said it's not safe, and I imagine with the sun set the way it is. Uh, is there anything you can tell us about High Hrothgar? We're sort of... new. I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. The what? Uh, right. What sort of deliveries do you make? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I suppose we could help with that. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Alright. You said the path wasn't safe. Anything that we should watch out for when we set out in the morning? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. <laughs> watch our footing. Got it. Be careful up there. So, we've learned new words today. What is the thum? I have no idea. I suppose we could go up there and ask them, couldn't we? 
I... If they don't really accept visitors, that could be a bit of a problem, don't you think? Fair enough. What we will do is stay at the inn for the night. That... Yes. Yes? Oh, sorry, there's a barrow out here. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. There are barrows everywhere in Skyrim. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Oh, this is nice. Right. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Right. Like most barrows in Skyrim. Um, out of curiosity, is there anything you can tell us about Hike Rothgar? The Greybeards are a solitary lot. I don't think they've ever ventured outside their monastery. We get the occasional pilgrim passing through here on their way to the summit. But almost all of them have returned disappointed. Well, that's interesting. Do you have any rumors that aren't related to Dunma and Azura? People say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Do you believe that? Well, that's not what I was getting at, but no, I, I don't believe it. Right, uh, do we have any rooms open? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much, sir. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Sorry for the hood. I didn't mean to be suspicious. Oh, Zira. Oh, don't worry, I can hear you on the wood. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh. What? As usual, there's only one bed, so we're taking watches. Ah, <laughs> well, we're sort of used to that by now, aren't we? Just try not to get poisoned and dragged off to who knows where this time. I will do my best. <laughs> You'd better. I could use a break and I don't want you wandering off again. Fair enough. Are you taking first watch? I might as well. I'll see if I can find out anything about these greybeards or the Thum or anything like that. Besides, you deserve a break. You've been... You've been... on your feet for who knows how long. That's fair enough. Well, thank you, Zira. That's kind of her.